Many thanks for joining everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Kimbale in Abuja, the nation's capital. The elections are getting closer by the day. Check out the countdown clock right here on Channels Television. It is just about 15 days to the crucial polls, and we are counting down and also putting you right in the mood for the election. Let's tell you about the update on the ju uh, Justice on organ Suspension Saga. The Code of Conduct Tribunal today fixed February the 4th for the resumption of alleged non-asset declaration trial against Justice Walter Onogen. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, the CCT, says the decision was reached today is equal to a correspondent from Code of Conduct Bureau applying for the resumption of trial of the case. Well, so many issues on the front burner, but let's check out some of the political stories we are following for you at this time. Former President Olusha Gobasanjo says hope for Nigeria lies in democracy with good governance which can be derived from a free and credible election. Speaking at the launch of a book in Abuja, the former president says opposition is good for any democracy. He further urged the country to set a good example with the 2019 elections for other African countries. With a population of 200 million and rising, our, our misfortune has implication for the rest of Africa and the rest of the world in general. The Speaker of AKT State House of Assembly says cracks within the fold of the People's Democratic Party in the state is bringing fortunes to the All Progressive Congress, the APC. The Speaker, while receiving a member of the House who announced his defection to the APC, believes the division in the PDP camp, which has forced the former governor to campaign against this party senatorial candidate, is not healthy for the PDP. The latest defector says PDP in the state is factionalized with leaders and war paths, insisting the party can no longer promote desirable interests. This new defection brings to four the number of APC lawmakers in the 26th member House of Assembly. The party is factionalized in the APC state with the leadership calling on the people to vote for opposing political parties. Governor Nasir El Rufai of Kaduna has taken his re-election campaign to Kudun, Kabo and Kuru local government areas of the state with a call on the people to reject the People's Democratic Party and vote for the APC during the polls. Speaking at the campaign rallies, El Rufai says his administration has delivered on his campaign promises in the areas of infrastructure development, human capital building and other sectors of the economy. He however challenges his political opponents to point out what they have done for the state in the past before seeking for election. The Ogun State Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has conducted a one-day sensitization forum for people with disabilities to ensure they are active and full participation in the electoral process in the build-up to the general elections. Addressing participants at the event held in Iwero in House in Abeokuta, the Ogun State capital, the newly posted resident electoral commission, Professor Abdul Ghani Raji, assured that adequate provisions have been made for these sets of people. Some of the participants at the one-day sensitization forum commended the electoral umpire for the inclusiveness in the electoral process.